complications that come up when we're trying to develop our field, when we're trying to uh, manage that aspect of our learning. So we might misunderstand our own body language. What are we translating to the horses? And do we have a clear understanding of how we're coming across? What is the natural response of the horse? So sometimes the horses are going to respond to us from nature and not from what we're teaching them. And that can cause us to shut down and then not ride, not give ourselves that opportunity and that openness to um, feel. And then learning, learning on a horse that is not confident or moves incorrectly. So if you are riding a horse that is from nature, very one-sided or unlevel or, um, you know, just a, a little bit, uh, maybe doesn't have the most athletic canter or something like this. And that's what you're learning on. Your feeling that you develop may be incorrect. And then basing your feeling on a horse that does not accept the aids. So if that's how you think that it's always going to be or how it's supposed to be when a horse is blocking, when a horse gets behind you, that kind of thing, that can cause you to develop incorrect feeling. So if one of these things sounds like you, you can go to carouselcoaching.com and you can sign up for a one-on-one -on -one coaching strategy session and we can talk about how to work with your body independent from your riding to help you so that you can have more awareness with your with your riding and then also maybe i can coach you a little bit on how to ride that horse that you've got and develop a better feeling for truly what's going on and not let yourself get uh your your progress get slowed down because that's the horse that you're partnering with right now how what can we do to get that horse going better for you getting less one-sided these kind of things so you develop as a rider and you're going to start to develop your horse in a little bit more productive way so i hope that i can speak with you about this and promote your writing. You can also email me at nancylaterdressagehorses at gmail.com.